Hello and welcome back to the channel. There's been an update, uh, which is great. So I encourage you to download the latest version. And when you do that, head over to your edit preferences and install version 106. So previously 105, uninstall it by removing it here and install the new version. So what's new? Well, the first thing is, um, one hopefully you haven't experienced yourself and I have said sometimes on occasion it's not always consistent is when you toggle wireframe mode or face orientation like this it may it may appear not to be working in the viewport that you're actually trying to you know have that activated what will happen is it may actually work in a different viewport so if I was to split this here like this if I click up here it wouldn't work there, but it might work here and vice versa. Okay. So now you can see it works in both viewports and it shouldn't be a problem. So Blender has been a little bit quirky that way. And uh, yeah, I don't know why that happens, but if it did, that should hopefully be all okay now. Right. So the biggest bulk of the update is adding new uh, tools for you in edit mode. So let's just, for example, we've got a model here that I previously worked on, the retro style ray gun. If I add an, uh, an icosphere so like this, I've given it uh, four levels of subdivision just there. So if I click into edit mode and I'll draw your attention to this part of the screen here. And you can see there we've got apply location, rotation scale and so on. The tools basically. If I tap into uh, edit mode with tab key, that now switches to flip normal recalculate normals and merge by distance. This is actually merge vertices by distance. Hopefully you can see that from the icon. And this is recalculate normals and flip normals. So of course, let's have a look at how these work. It's pretty straightforward. So if we select some faces like that, and if you just turn face orientation on, I can click, uh, click flip normal. And of course that would do that and give you all sorts of undesirable results. Uh, <laughs> which you can't quite see there yet. But anyway, the point is those are not very nice. So what you want to do is flip them and you can either select these again manually, if that's what you want to do and click the flip normal button, or you can select all of the faces with, let me undo that, there we go. So you can select all of the faces by tapping the A key and click recalculate normal. Another new add-on uh, tool for the add-on is merge vertices by distance, something that I often use to tidy up models, and that's useful for when you have overlapping vertices, edges, and so forth. So with that, for that to work, obviously you need to be in edit mode, click a, um, in vertex mode, having one on the keyboard. If I select everything, or you can make, um, let's get rid of this, make a selection like this again, and I do merge by distance. You now have the operators in the bottom left, as I increase the value there, the vertices collapse by the distance that I'm putting there. You can also turn on, or undo that, and do that again. You can also click on unselected, and that will then obviously have a much larger radius around just your selection. I'm not sure if you want to use that or not, but that may come in handy for some things. Um, the other thing I can't see at the moment is I don't get a feedback on the number of vertices that have been merged, which would be really useful. So I look into having that implemented as well, and um, I'll push out an update as and when that happens. So that's it, folks. Just wanted to uh, let you know that the new update is out. Again, version 106, and you can find that available on just been approved by Blender Markets. That's now available there. I'll put the links in the description, and this is now updated to the latest version. You can see I've put the, the update there. And it's also available at Gumroad. The updates are only for the pro version, not the free version. That stays the same for the time being. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.